So today we're going to be preparing a burrito bowl. So I'm gonna start out with 80% um, lean ground beef and 20% fat, and this is just ground chuck. I have about two pounds here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it browned up in the skillet here and completely brown it. Um, that way, you know, you don't have to worry about anything not being undercooked. So I'll let that cook away for just a minute. I'm just gonna take a spoon and break it up. So my ground beef is browning and I just want to show quickly guys that you can do this as basic as you want but you can also fix it up a little bit as you all can see I'm going to show you I have actually grilled a couple pieces of corn um, I did this ahead of time so that um, one I would be able to handle the corn um, without it burning me and then also I can multitask so now that my my actual um, beef is browning, I can take this time to go ahead and cut the actual corn off of the paper towel the underneath here so that's not moving too much. And I'm just going to go right down and cut off the kernels. Now if you've never done this, it's not really hard. Just make sure that the knife you're using isn't too dull to be able to cut off the actual kernels itself. So that's one. And there you can see the actual corn that is cut off. So I'm just gonna sit this to the side and I'm gonna use this as part of my burrito bowl. So I have drained all of the fat off of the meat and put it back into the skillet, but I turned it down to a little bit lower than medium high. Um, now I'm actually going to add my seasoning. It's the McCormick Taco Seasoning Mix. So to my brown meat, I'm gonna add about a fourth of a cup of the taco seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle it over. Once I've mixed this in and I've added, you know, my water just to kind of loosen it up so that it can simmer and the seasonings can really get in inside of the ground beef. I will taste this. Again, the meat is thoroughly cooked um, to see if I need to adjust the seasoning. I have a 12 inch cast iron skillet here. Um, when I use that two pound, I t it I find that this 12 inch cast iron skillet just allows for more room so that the dish will cook faster because of the surface area. So notice the consistency of the ground beef now. It's been simmering now for maybe about five minutes. As you can see, there's no standing water in the bottom of the skillet. Um, it's just like a thick consistency and that's what So it now it's actually time for us to go ahead and assemble the bowls. I get myself a little meat and add to the bowl and we do also have Mexican style blended cheese as well this is just what I pick up from Costco and this is what we use I will say that when you buy your own cheese and you shred it it melts better and it tastes better but again I'm cooking this during the weekday and I don't have time to shred cheese. So I will add to my bowl my meat, some of the shredded cheese. You can add as little or as much as you would like. Then I will add my lettuce. I'm gonna add a little corn. Guys, you can also do black beans with this. Um, I just didn't have time to do the black beans today, but you can definitely add those. I'm gonna have some red onions. 
gonna add a little jalapeno and we're gonna have some tomato so you guys here you can see that I have rounded off the dish with some avocado and a dollop of sour cream doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous and awesome and it's a balanced meal with lots of veggies in it or little veggies if you have little ones or a husband that will not eat them. So I really hope you guys really enjoy this. Very easy for you to throw together after a long, busy day at work. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by Shay's Country Kitchen. Please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.